hello. Right, I'm just getting some stuff ready for tea. So I thought I'd do a quick video while I'm doing it. So I'm making, so those of you who don't know, I eat plant-based, my family don't. <laughs> who does most of the cooking during the week? Muggins. So I am um, making them, they are having lasagna tonight. So I don't mind, like, I don't mind cooking meat for them. Um, my husband will never ever not eat meat and I don't expect him to. <laughs> He's his own person, we do our own thing. Um, I choose to do it because I feel better that way. He chooses not to because he likes his meat and that is okay. So I still cook meat for him. But I do try and do it. I do try and do it, um, sorry, just putting the pen in the compost, um, quite healthy, so, oh, healthier, you know, so I chuck in extra veggies wherever I can, and mince is a great one to do that. Now, Monday is our rush night, because we've got gymnastics, as soon as the kids get back, Brenda picks the kids up on a Monday, and brings them back, so I have finished work, popped home really quickly to prep some tea, um, so that when we come back from gym at 5.30, close to 6 o'clock, we are good to go. So I'm just chopping up some veggies. We've got some red onion, bono. I'm going to do some normal onion and a carrot. And that's what I'm going to chuck in to the mince. Sometimes I'll add in like zucchini if I've got some zucchini. Anything that can be grated and chopped um, and made small, basically. Hey. What do you put in your mints? I know there's probably heaps of you that do the same thing. Not that I need to hide veggies for my kids, they're pretty good at just eating them, but you know, if I'm gonna make something, I might as well make it a healthier version. If I can. So basically what I'll do is I'll make the mints now, then when we get back, I'll chuck it together um, in the dish, the lasagna dish, baking dish. And then um, just chuck it in the oven and we're good to go. And it only takes, I don't know, not long. Because you pre-cook the mince, so you basically just got to let the pasta cook through. I think it's like about half an hour-ish, maybe. Maybe a little bit longer, but a little bit um, slower. Because there's nothing worse than getting your lasagna out, chopping it up to put it on everyone's plates and the pasta not being cooked. <laughs> I hate it, it makes me so angry. So I've got to make sure the pasta's nice and stuffed because they're otherwise, otherwise the people eating it don't like it. And I don't like chewy pasta either, so. All right, there we go, onions, and then, in fact, what I'll do, I've already put the pan on, have I? No, I'll just put the oil in the pan. So I've got my mints, I don't know if you can see, can you see? Like, pretty packaged, so we buy the big bulk ones and then chop it into the wee um, bits for per meal. So always, always cook your onions first because otherwise that harsh flavour goes through everything. And a carrot, I don't peel the carrot if I'm grating it because there's good nutrients on the outside of the carrot too. So I just grate it up and chuck it in once the onions are sauteed a wee bit. Meat goes in last, actually doesn't take long at all. Watch me grate my fingers now. So stop. Board. There we go. So you just need to like sweat them off a wee bit to get that little harsh flavoured one. 
and then you can add in your other veggies as you make. So all I had in there was a wee bit of oil and a wee bit of crushed garlic. When I did eat them, I loved it. It has been quite garlicky. So, always chuck some garlic in. Now I'm going to chuck my carrots and... My kids love mints, but they like different stuff with it. So, Corey loves nachos. That's oh, I mean apples, don't you? But he loves nachos. So if I'm ever doing nachos, I have to do like different meals. Three different meals for them three, and then mine as well. Because <laughs> Zoe doesn't like nachos yet. So she'll have hers um, with pasta sometimes. But then Vince doesn't like pasta or nacho chips, so he has his on toast. But lasagna, everyone will eat lasagna. So I've had it out to for work, and I'm just gonna like mush it as I put it in the pan. I actually got it out last night from the freezer and put it in the fridge, so it's still real cold. But it's defrosted and easy to mush in there. And then I just use the stone to break it up. Should I show you? Break it all up. Just put those in the now. Here we go. Sorry if my kitchen's a mess. It's actually not that bad at the moment. I've had a good clean over the weekend. And then basically just keep stirring that through until. The meat looks cooked. Then we chuck in our pasta sauce. I don't make my own. <laughs> Especially not on a Monday night with after school stuff. Hopefully there's one in the cupboard because I haven't actually bought one for this meal. Well, just leave that to cook a little bit. And I'm not like, I eat plant based but I'm not like grossed out by meat or anything. So I don't mind cooking for others. <gasps> pasta sauce. Uh, we might just have to use. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait, what are we doing, lasagna? We can chuck in some spaghetti and tomato sauce and some tomatoes. <laughs> That'll do. That will work. Now, because of my long nails, I've got Christmas ones at the moment. Oh. I need a knife to open the cans with. Over here for now. So they've got those wee little catchy things. Pushkiri, that'll bulk it up a bit too. We've got granddad for tea tonight too, so extra milk. There we go. Let's just stir it a bit more. And once the mince is all brown. premium mince too because it's way less fatty like if you get the normal mince it's just the real not great parts <laughs> and if we are buying the cheaper types of meat for the family I like to still try and make it a healthier part but not all the time because it, sometimes it's real expensive <laughs> Yeah, right, I'll just show you. So you can see that most of it is browned off now. So I'm going to add in my spaghetti, which I wouldn't use if I was doing like spaghetti bolognese or nacho. Oh, maybe nachos, I don't know. But in lasagna, I'll chuck it in. Boom! Tomatoes, what are those? Fresh garlic with olive oil. Again, I wouldn't have those because I don't have oil at the moment. Look at that. Mix it all through. And then, once that's cooked a wee bit more, because the meat just needs a little bit longer, that's good to go. What else did dinner organise? That's mine really quick. So how long did that take? Nine minutes. <laughs> From start to finish, including prep. And that's a relatively healthy, hearty family meal. It will take me five minutes to chuck that together, layer it up with the pasta sheets. Um, I do like to make my own white sauce because it's a lot cheaper. All you need is flour and milk. Sometimes I'll make it 
for the others with and cheese. <laughs> Sometimes I make it with um, my milk, soy milk or almond milk. Um, but today they don't. They all have dairy. Corey doesn't really, but we try and minimise it for him because of his asthma. But um, I think we've only got normal milk at the moment, so they will be having normal cheese sauce. Look at that. Looks good, eh? And later we'll just chuck it through. Layer it up with the pasta. I'll just let that reduce down a wee bit. Um, chuck on the sauce on top. Put some cheese over the top. And we're good to go. So that's my quick Monday night dinner. So if you're in a rush, you can still cook good healthy food for your kids. Um, and then I don't even know what I'm going to eat yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. I made some pasta yesterday. Um, real nice pasta. Egg free, so it's vegan. But yeah. And it's got just a real nice tomato sauce through it. So I'm just going to chuck some veggies through that. And probably top it with some nutritional yeast. And that'll be me. Alright guys. That's it for a quick Monday chit chat I suppose. Um, you guys have a good one. We'll catch you later. Bye.